we've also <clears throat> we've also moved a few things around with the customization because previously a lot of the customization options were specific to things like the <clears throat> the space or the content that you're creating here but because the customization is really a lot more uh tightly coupled with the published side of things we've moved most most of these options over to the site itself and you'll find this uh you'll find all the customization options from the Doc site's main overview page for whatever site you're working on. So <clears throat> you can head up to the upper right hand corner to customize. And you'll see the different options uh, that you can you can edit for for this site. So a lot of very similar things that we've had before. So title on uh, icon, custom logos, which is going to appear where the, it says webinar test site up here different themes for light and dark mode. I'll show you all this in a working uh, order as well, because some of these things are part of the pro plan as well. Uh, light, dark mode, primary colors, the mode toggle as well, if you want your users to be able to uh, toggle between light and dark, which shows up at the bottom uh, in the footer. Font family icons, which is something we've just added. I'm gonna show us that in just a bit. Corner style for cards and different uh, blocks that we have here and the background as well. Some of the layout options too for the header. So if you want to add like a navigation uh, next to the search bar up here, pagination, which is going to bring you to the next page or the previous page when you're at the bottom uh, of a page or adding a footer that will give more links um, similar to the header navigation as well. And configuring it to the localized user interface. We have a couple different languages here and that's going to uh, localize things like the Powered by Gitbook logo here, or the search, or any of the main Gitbook UI. <clears throat> if you are using GitHub or GitLab Sync, you'll also find the option to add a edit button from all the different pages, which will allow your users to help contribute to your docs uh, as they're working on them. So if you are working on like an open source project, uh, this is gonna be super useful for that. And adding things like a privacy policy URL uh, as well. But the main thing that I wanted to mention too, that's moved, uh, or a little bit changed if you are working on different versions, you'll notice here at the top that this says site-wide settings. And that means all of the different uh, parts that we're work working on and changing for the customization are going to affect both the webinar test content, but also the second version of content that we have here, which is called headquarters. So again, if we just want to, <clears throat> excuse me, change the webinar test content colors or or something like this. Let's go ahead and just change this to purple. We can go ahead and see that, but if we want the headquarters color to be something different, we can also override that and change it on this version. So this headquarters version is going to be this red that we have set, uh, and this is going to be the purple that we set. I also actually forgot to click save in the bottom right, which is why uh, it didn't, it didn't say between the two, but you can have different configurations for your different versions. If you have maybe again, like different styles for different products, but you want them all linked uh, in one section, or if you have different, you know, branding for different, different products or versions, et cetera. 